Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we are bringing you the quarterfinals of the PML draft and we face off against Matt, coach of the Blaze, once again. We faced him two weeks ago and got a handily 4-0 win I believe, <clears throat> no 4-1 win because of timer, uh, stats don't matter now, timer can be whatever it wants to be. And um, let's get this battle underway. He didn't bring Tyranitar this time. Ho he's hoping uh, I get up the, the sand for him. Uh, last time that Excadrill was Scarf. And that's the only way it can outspeed Lone Wolf. <clears throat> oh man. This is going to be a very, very demanding battle here. Uh, I'm going to lead Lethal Dose. I'm predicting the uh, Galvantula lead once again. He may not want to go straight for webs um, again because of our court change ability that we did last time. Maybe he thinks we do it again, which I'm planning on it if it happened. And um, it, it's just going to be a very interesting match. So uh, I don't have a great track record of battling someone over again. So let's go ahead and get this underway. And he actually leads the Excadrill. <clears throat> and I'm just going to assume it's Scarfed. And Rusted Wing's the number one answer to this thing. So I'm just going to go straight for that. So we live whatever hit he goes for. If he goes for anything other than Earthquake or Rock Slide, he'll get Rocky Helmet damage on him. And let's see how this goes. Rusted Wing comes in here, which is Excadrill's answer every time. <clears throat> He's going to switch to Galvantula probably 100% of the time. I'm just going to go for the body press. At least I'll break the sash on it, if anything. He could also go to uh, Komo'o and try to set up. Yeah, he's going Komo'o. <clears throat> but I have an answer for Komo'o, and that's my uh, and that's my uh, da, 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 da. I don't have Whirlwind, and that's Yoda. So I'm going straight to Yoda here. And here's the question. Does he go for Clangorous Soul or does he go for Belly Drum or Substitute? He goes for Flamethrower. Okay. So he didn't try to set up there. And he's Life Orb. So he, he's losing HP and we're getting some HP back thanks to our leftovers. And we have no reason not to attack. I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it is four times effective if he, if he decides to stay in. He could get some good damage off with Poison Jab, but I doubt he's a mix attacker. Oh, he goes Iron Head. Possibly going for the flinch. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh. <clears throat> and the flinch. All right, so we're going to try to pivot around real quick. We're going to go to Rusted Wing here. Get some chip damage with the Rocky Helmet. Hopefully he didn't go Flamethrower out of nowhere. Get some damage off there. He loses a uh, Life Orb. And we're going to go back to Yoda. Predicting he goes back to flamethrower. Does he? I don't know. He might just say fuck it and go for the uh, iron head once again. But at least this was the only thing we needed to play before. In like the whole battle anyway. So even if Clefable goes down here we'll be fine. Alright let's see. 
Flamethrower. Perfect. All right, life orb. Um, we're gonna stay in. Uh, one more life orb puts him in really bad range. So, we're just gonna kind of go for the soft boil. If we live a flamethrower, I doubt it. We are not specially defensive by any means. We're fully defensive. Okay, so. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think I just go lethal dose here. And just go for earth power. He does have a Jellicent and, oh wait, we don't have an answer, a hard answer for Jellicent. Um, we do have Electivire. So, hopefully, there's that. Um, we'll just go for the Shadow Ball to play it safe. He withdraws Komo'o. Goes Jellicent. Okay, so this is probably best case scenario if we do over half damage does not do over half damage okay so we're gonna go straight to motorhead here no reason not to so the question is does he dynamax again because this is i think one of his only pokemon that can Oh, he doesn't. He goes for Trick. And what does he trick us? Lagging Tail. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm not meant to be faster than anything specifically. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go for... I don't have any switch-ins if I go Volt Switch. Well, he'd make the move first, right? I'm just going to go Volt Switch here. Oh, he goes Strength Set. Okay. That's fine. We're not uh, we're not physically offensive. Ooh, but that does a lot. Ooh, but that does a lot. <laughs> and that was a crit. Okay, so sadly that was a crit. I didn't want to get a crit. Now, here is where we play the game. If I go lethal dose here, what do I click? Because I'm scarred. I've, I'd have to switch if he brings in something I can't handle. And actually, there's nothing I can't handle. Um, he actually has... Uh, he has Stoutland, but what does Stoutland really do? I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Even if he goes Stoutland, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully he just lets this thing go down, though. We're about seven minutes into the battle. So we really got to watch out for timer, too. Because he's taking his time on this move here. And he is one Pokemon ahead of us. Hopefully he doesn't play that game. Uh, he, he doesn't here. He clicks a move. He stays in. We get the kill. Perfect. Uh, that crit probably mattered. But as of right now, we are, are in good position. If he goes Stoutland, we go Skarmory. If he goes uh, Komo'o, we stay in. If he goes Galvantula, we stay in. Um, let's see. What else? Excadrill, Skarmory. Yeah, we're going straight to Skarmory. Uh, Skarmory is just the perfect answer. And I don't think he gets any good fighting moves.
So, of course, I go Skarmory. He goes Iron Head. We get Rocky Helmet damage off. And I just click Body Press because I don't want Komodo to come in for free. And then we have to take another hit on something else because we don't have anything else to take hits from Komodo. And Komodo is in range of Body Press. So I don't want to just go for Stealth Rocks and let Komodo come in for free. So what does he decide to do here? He is taking his time on this. Come on, Matt. Don't do this to me again. I don't want another timer battle. He withdraws. And what does he go to? He goes to Gavantula. Okay. That's not too bad. We do a good chunk with body press. Oh, another critical hit. Sorry, Matt. Hmm. I was really hoping... Those wouldn't be a problem here. Alright, I'm going to go Lethal Dose. He's going to go Sticky Web, probably for sure. Or an Electric Move. But I doubt it, because he knows we still have Needle King. Energy Ball, fair. Fair play. Ooh, critical hit, so he gets one back. Um... I am free to just click Flamethrower, honestly. Uh, Komo'o doesn't live two, if he even lives one. Everything else is super effective, and Stoutland doesn't want to take a burn. So we go for Flamethrower here, and don't have to deal with webs for the rest of the battle. Now the real question, what does he go to here? If he goes to Komo'o, I stay in and click Flamethrower. He might live, hopefully not. Um, Nine Tails, I click Flamethrower. Excadrill, Flame, uh, no, Excadrill and Stoutland, I switch to Skarmory. All right, Stoutland comes in and he gets the Intimidate. Okay, so it's not Sand Rush, which is really good for us. Um, actually, I don't want to get more unnecessary damage on Rusted Wing, and we don't really need Motorhead anymore. I'm going to go ahead and go to Motorhead, and I'm okay if this thing goes down. He might go retaliate right out of the gate. Lethal Dose switches out. We go back to Motorhead. And we know we're not outspeeding anything. He goes Crunch. Very interesting play. And we're going to go Low Kick. No reason not to. Super effective against Stoutland. Uh, good damage against Excadrill. Possibly knocks out Komo'o. Doesn't do much to Ninetales, but we're not too worried about that. Oh, he maxes Stoutland. Oh, and low kick's not going to affect him. Ah, oh, what a waste. I should have just clicked Thunderbolt. Okay, fair enough. I don't think low kick does any damage to it. He goes max quake. That probably kills us. And he gets a special defense boost, but we don't really have special attackers anyway. So. Uh, I'm going to go Cordova here, because we don't really need court change anymore. And I really need damage on the Stoutland. So I'm going to go with Pyro Ball. And here in PML, we can't Dynamax Pokemon that are tier uh, 1 and 2. Only tier 3 and below. So, we are forced to just go for Pyro Ball here. That one's a really good Maximon, too. 
I think it was his last option as well. Fireball gets off some really good damage. And he goes max lightning, so he has Thunder Fang. Cordova lives there. Alright. That's that's sweet actually. I guess he thought we we're gonna go a different move, like a flying move or something. But uh I'm free to click Pyroball again. Ooh, burn! We should live the next hit no matter what. Well, maybe not a super effective hit. Alright. Stoutland brings us down, but he no longer has Dynamax on his side. I'm gonna go to Lethal Dose. Or should I should I click the button? I'm gonna click the button. Fuck it. I'm clicking the button. The only thing we can't live a hit from Dynamax is um is um, 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 um choice banded Excadrill. But we'll be faster anyway, so I don't think it'll matter. So I'm gonna go max rock ball here. Because we need these kills. Time is running out. Ooh, I just looked at the time. Alright, we got about five more minutes in this battle. Come on, Matt. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We'll at least get a for sure kill here. Unless he goes extra drill straight away. Then we don't. But he can't knock us out. Unless he's choice banded. He goes Komo. -o. Okay. So we get the kill here. Stoutland isn't a uh, sand rush. So I'm not worried about that. Extra drill didn't show mold breaker. So it has to be sand rush. But again, unless he's scarfed, he doesn't outspeed, and if he's choice banded, he doesn't kill. So we're, he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place at this point. At least I hope he don't kill. All right, sandstorm kicks up. We are officially faster than everything except a choice scarf, sand rush, excadrill. Regular Excadrill, I mean, he has to be Sand Rush, right? He goes straight to it this time, right? He does. Okay. Revealing the... The Scarf, I'm sure. I'm going Max Knuckle. I don't know if we kill. He goes Earthquake. Pops our weakness policy. Beautiful. Now we definitely kill. And we get an attack boost. Excadrill goes down, and that was the biggest threat he had. And nothing is outspeeding us, and nothing is living a hit. Um, Ninetales might be sashed, but that's fine. It'll go down to sand after it takes us down, if it does, because we are... Special defense boosted. Dropped our attack by one, but that does not matter. Uh, I'm just going to go for Max Knuckle again. No reason not to. And this is our last turn of Dynamax as well. Do we outspeed uh, a nine tails? Though? I don't think we outspeed nine tails because of our speed tier. Oh wait, we're in sand. We outspeed everything. Never mind. Another critical hit, but at least that one didn't matter.
and I'm sure Alola Ninetales is stashed. Honestly, he could have brought Ninetales in front of Skarmory and set up. Unless he was fearing an iron, uh, a iron head or still that move of some kind. But we were mono body press on oh, that. No. Oh, he changed the weather. So I'm not going to be faster. I'm just going to click Excel Rock. We're plus three. All right. And he's not sashed. So he goes down. We win. Lycan Rock gets the sweep. GG. Matt. And uh, great game, man. We, we, got, we brought it a little bit closer. But we did it. Um... All right, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you in the semifinals once again. Let's not blow it.